Hi, I'm Mickey Coles, and today I'm going to be talking about a paint, a new paint that we came out with called the Colors of Sweden. They're based on the traditional colors from the Gustavian era of Swedish furniture painting. And today I'm going to use candlelight and I'm going to show you how I love to use our natural sea sponges to put paint and glaze on. It's an old art that's been lost, but truly it's a magnificent way to apply paint and give a mottled, aged look. So what I do is I pour my paint off into a paint tray or a paper plate, and I use the prickly side of the sea sponge. Notice it has two sides. It's got kind of a big hole, flatter side, and then it's got a side with all these little beautiful things to create wonderful texture sticking out. So that's what I use. and. This is my inspiration board, which is painted in candlelight, and then it's glazed with our lime wash glaze and sheer smoke glaze using the sea sponge. So first I want to show you some basics about sea sponging. So you have to have a dampened, water dampened sea sponge. You dip that wonderful side into the paint and you get it loaded with paint, like so. I'm going to show you on this door because there's a lot of contrast and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. So the one thing you want to avoid when sea sponging is the polka dot look. So what you want to do is, yes, you can start off that way, but do you notice how I'm moving and turning my hand? And you can even drag the sea sponge in places. You can almost paint with it if you want. I use a combination of both. You can even put on your first coat and you see I kind of can get down in the crevices just by pressing. So now that's just to show you perhaps a first coat and I might have done too much coverage but you get the idea of you don't want polka dots and you get the idea that you can drag it if you need to. So what I would do on this piece it was I would get this finesse enough where I'm happy with it, let it dry, come back and put a second coat on and glaze it. Or I could just do one coat and cover it really well like this and then glaze it and it would be fine. But let's move to our piece of furniture. So here I have a coffee table that has had one coat of candlelight by the Colors of Sweden painted on with a brush. Now I'm going to put the second coat on using the sea sponge. And you see. And what it does, it just creates this almost distressed look like the paint has worn away in some places without really having to sand or do wet distressing. I just love the look. Are you zooming in to see how this looks? You can see the little bit of the contrast. And actually the contrast is very good where you may see some of the wood poking through. That's actually good because when we glaze it, it will give you even more depth. But I'm going to kind of look at it and I'm going to shove the sea sponge up in here and down in here and get some of my inside across there and you can see it is not a perfect coverage. I love to use it on legs. It's so much easier than brushing legs and spindles and all kinds of details. Now eventually your sponge will need more paint. So we put more paint on there, we dunk our sea sponge in there, get it all nice and wet, and start applying it again. And look how easy it wraps around, all kinds of detail where usually with a brush you're having challenges. But here it makes it so easy and really it is a lot of fun. So let's kind of step back and look at it. I see a couple places I need to, and I might even drag it in a few places like I showed you just to kind of not make it look so modeled in places. 
You see how I just dragged it there and then I pounced it a little bit? So no polka dot look. We're going to let that dry and then I'm going to come back and glaze it.